Hey guys, in this era of whitewater kayaking, your phone can be an extremely useful tool to help you get out in the water. Hey there, and welcome to this video of what I believe to be the best whitewater applications for checking rain gauges, boater forums, scouting creeks, all that type of stuff. My name's Corey, and I'm just another dirtbag kayaker. <laughs> Let's hop into it. The applications I'm gonna show you are gonna be relevant to whitewater. I'm gonna skip over anything that's irrelevant and fly through it all. Hopefully you'll learn a few things. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. At the top, you can see I have all of my applications and folders that I don't frequently use. Now I may use these um, once or twice a day, uh, but it's out of thumb's reach. And so I keep my more frequently used apps down at the bottom that I'm constantly logging into throughout the day. So let's start at the top. The first app that I wanna show you is an interesting app. I have an iPhone uh, XS Max, and I'm not sure if this application can be used on the other iPhones, but it is on this phone. This is going to be a really interesting app. I've never used it in the field, but I think it's gonna work. Let's jump. All right, it's called Measure. Now, what this app is gonna be able to let us do is measure the height of a waterfall. So we can no longer have to guess um, the, the height of it. So we, we know exactly what it is. So it takes a second for it to get going. So here we're gonna measure my laptop. You can see, bam, measure it and there you go. Now that's the measure of that. You can also uh, choose distances like there to there and that's 30 inches so i think it's going to work for something like a waterfall that we can measure the height of it um interesting app we'll see if it's going to work i'm going to try it sometime and let you know clear we'll get out of this all right the next app that i want to show you is google earth now there's a lot of different maps uh, that use satellite imagery there are applications that use satellite imagery um, google earth is one of them i'm sure you've played with it you can see right here you can check out this is the New River drainage, fairly simple. Moving on, um, we have the Outdoors app, Strava. Strava is an application that will time how long you're on the water, how long you've been moving, your average speed, all that type of stuff. Cool. Axis Earth, I'm not quite sure about it. I just heard um, it's like group meetups for different outdoor events. I don't know if Whitewater will catch on. Whitewater's pretty exclusive. Moving on. Um, into the content box that I have here. Um, if you're into filming and taking pictures, you may get a kick out of this stuff. Um, GoPro app, there's just some other apps here that help you make cool photos and stuff like that. If you're into photos, videos, take a look at these apps. I'm gonna keep moving on. So going into the Weather and Gauges app. This is uh, where I really wanna show you all. Now there's a few different weather applications. Some people prefer other ones. You can check them out. Uh, I like dark sky. So you go into it um, and it will give you just a nice interface to work with. You can feel the precipitation. So you can see through tonight, it's going to be um, likely to rain. And then once it goes into tomorrow, it's not gonna rain. So hopefully that means kayaking will be going on tomorrow. All right, that's that app. And then a few other ones just to double check, just to get more opinions on hopefully what creek is gonna be running. Now, the rest of these are not applications. The rest of these are shortcuts. And this is something really important that I don't think a lot of people know how to do. Um, well, at least whitewater kayakers, um, but it's really useful. So for instance, when we run Mans Creek in Babcock, in the Babcock State Park, the state park has a webcam, but the river doesn't have a gauge. So we use the webcam as means to give a visual gauge for us if we can go run it. So right here you can see, this is just a quick link to the West Virginia State Parks um, website, which will then take you down to the webcam. But I wanna show you how you can create quick links really quick. So go into the Safari app. I'm already on the West Virginia State Parks. And down at the bottom, there's this little square box with an arrow that points up. Click on that, and then if you scroll through, you'll see this Add to Home screen. You hit that, and then basically it'll create one of these little images right here. You, and then you can name it and that type of stuff, and then you'll have it 
as a quick link on your home screen. It's pretty cool. It makes it really useful if you have to do things like check visual gauges that there's not applications for a gauge. Now, the next application that I'm gonna show you just dropped and it's by the organization American Whitewater. It's really cool and I'm super fired up on this. Here we are, this is the new um, American Whitewater app. You can see things like different release or stories, um, that type of thing. What I really like is the favorites, so you can save um, the runs that put it all in a nice little interface to look at. So you can see the big Sandy's running, oh, it's 6.1 feet, it was going up since last time I looked at it. Blackwater, it's going up, 507, sick level. Decker's Creek, it's just at a minimal level, so it's going up. You got the Golly Meadow, that type of stuff. All that's really useful. You also have uh, this map here that you can choose different regions. So if you go up here, you can see, okay, oh, I have Alabama selected. Let's check it out. Let's see what Alabama's up to. So you can scroll out. Oh, here's all the gauges in Alabama. So then you can go in and check. Oh, this is a class two to class five plus run. And then you can go in and it'll tell you a bit more about that. It's basically like the American Whitewater website, but in an application form, and it works really well. Check it out, download it, and also become an American Whitewater member. You really need to do that. Moving on. The next application that I really wanna show you all is really just for dirt bag kayakers because we often run shuttle on each other's cars, and sometimes you have to go on long trips and you have to split gas, and you don't wanna be that guy that doesn't have money, but you always have your phone which means you can transfer money. So either get on PayPal, get on Venmo, download a few of the uh, transfer applications so that you always can transfer m uh, money to your buddy so you're not that guy who never has money for shuttle and you never bring your car. Remember to always bring your car or just be courteous to each other. So use transfer applications. Moving on, um, the next application Everyone knows of this application, it's Facebook, but within Facebook, you have groups. And in the groups can be really useful. I find out a lot of my information of people's daily, um, like for instance, right here, Jeff Macklin, he went over Fikes Creek, shot a photo of it, posted the level. Otherwise, we wouldn't know the level if Jeff didn't post it at this time. So it's really useful. This is West Virginia Creek Visuals page. If you're on Facebook and you are in a region that doesn't have one of these, um, create one, you know, it's good for meetups, it's good for posting if there's wood, what the visual gauges are. Um, overall, there's like whitewater mentor groups that you can ask questions and people will help you and things like that, it's really useful. Also, the videos on Facebook are really good, um, but there's a lot of distractions to Facebook. There's a lot of other stuff and I'm pretty sure you all know that. So it's not the best to get your whitewater media. The best places to get your whitewater media, I really like, and a lot of other people have really been fired up on this too. For instance, here we are. This is the podcast app, and we have Hammer Factor. The Hammer Factor new episode just dropped, Hammer Factor 61. It's the first episode of 2019. Check it out. Those guys are really awesome. They talk about really important subjects and not so important subjects, um, but it's really fun and entertaining to watch, and I really enjoy it. The next application would be Instagram. Now, like for instance, right here, oh, that was a cool shot of someone kayaking. Um, so it's a really good way to get whitewater media that's quick and easy. So we got more people doing whitewater stuff, some skiers, some owls, that type of thing. So you can really design this to get cool whitewater media. Some of the pro kayakers, they first post of their new content on Instagram. So you're likely to see it first and be up to date and find out all the sick stuff just like Annie Ol Sierra Soul Sister and that sick Cobra flip the other day. The If you're watching this, you're probably already on YouTube, so I don't need to go over this application with you, but I really think that Whitewater content creators who make film need to start posting more on YouTube. Now, Seth Asher does a really good job. Um, Bryn Orton with Cinders does a really good job. Let's go into it. Um, let's see, let's, yeah, Cinders right there. So you can see this is their, um, this is their page right here. They 
Bryn posts a lot of cool videos, and I think that a lot more people in Whitewater should be posting this, posting their videos on YouTube instead of Facebook. Facebook has so much noise, and it's really annoying. Other than that, the last application is going to be the notes. And basically what you got going on here is this is where I keep my river log. You can see I haven't really paddled much this month, but hopefully I'll get out tomorrow. It's been really cold, and I've been in school. So there you have it. Keep a river log in the notes application. Well, y'all, I hope you got something out of this video, and I hope that this helps to make your paddling experience a little bit better. And cheers to you. We'll see you in the eddy. Peace.